U.S. is ramping up the pressure again on Iran. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, addressing the U.N. Security Council on Wednesday, urged world powers to ban Tehran from all ballistic missile activity. We risk the security of our people if Iran continues stocking up on ballistic missiles. The United States seeks to work with all other members of the Council to reimpose on Iran the ballistic missile restrictions outlined in 1929. Earlier this year, Washington pulled out of a nuclear deal with Iran, despite its European allies strongly opposing the move. The pact had been approved by the Obama administration in 2015, with Iran agreeing to freeze its nuclear program. In exchange, most sanctions against the country were lifted. However, U.S. President Trump described the deal as the worst ever. Washington claims the sanctions now in place are the toughest so far. They include all previous restrictions plus new ones, and they target crucial state sectors ranging from oil exports to shipping and finance. In total, more than 700 Iranian individuals, entities and companies are on the list. Independent political analyst Alessandro Bruno told us that any further U.S. pressure could actually prove to be counterproductive. I'm not really sure what the U.S. expected when uh, Trump pulled out of the JCPOA, the so-called Iran deal. Europe is still continues to look for ways to uh, trade with, with Iran and bypass the uh, U.S. Uh, sanctions. Putting more pressure on Iran also consolidates, ironically, support for the government. Pushing Iran to the brink create as a uh, can uh, backfire. The more uh, uh, military and uh, diplomatic pressure you put on the country, the stronger certain forces in the government become and the more difficult it is to trigger what the U.S. ostensibly wants to achieve. 